Hey friends, happy Saturday. It's Sonia and I am coming to you this morning from my art studio. It is, yes, Saturday. I love Saturdays. During the week, I feel like there are just a lot of priorities and um, a lot of like meet deadlines. It's, it's the typical work week. And on Saturdays, I really feel like there is no pressure. You can just do what you wanna do. Just be yourself, get into what you want to get into. And for me, I cannot wait to get over here to my side of the house, which is where I paint. My art studio is in my home. And Matt's even still in bed. And we are gonna, yeah, we're gonna work on some stuff over here, really quietly over here. I got up, I just had my coffee. I am feeling good. I just think it's amazing. The earth gives us what we need, right? I always say our most precious resource rains from the sky, like it comes from the sky. And now we have these beautiful magic beans, you know, the coffee bean. Ah! And on Saturdays, like I said, I'm not throwing myself around. So Saturdays are a time for just, yeah, inward looking, taking care of yourself, calmness, you know, really feeling what you need, what you're thinking about with all the different things bouncing off you, you know, all the emails, the phone calls, all the deadlines that you're working on. So I do love weekends for that reason. I'm gonna to get to work on this lovely lady back here, the sweet little girl. She is looking to be finished up. I know that painting is like anything else. So if you're watching and you're like, I wanna improve my painting, hey, I'm right there with you. Uh, and I think every day that you practice painting, you get better, you learn, for example, even just the basic, you know, colors that you love, colors that you pull together that just strike a, you know, a chord in you and you just, you, it just makes you so happy, right? So right now you guys know I'm loving on um, Sugar Plum and Vintage White. It just makes me happy when I paint it. I can't help but go inside, oh my gosh, I love this so much. But the more that you paint, you begin to develop your own color style that people will rec recognize you for. And, um, you get better at mastering colors together. Like if you're doing a collection of paintings or something like that, you learn to hold the brush in a certain way that gives you certain markings. And everybody has their own style and it all comes from within, you know? It's because the amount of pressure that you're applying to that brush depends on you, right? And that's how you make, your brush strokes are different than mine, right? That's how you kind of set yourself, no matter what you're painting on, whether it's furniture, whether it's canvas, in the um, artist world or and you know art can be anything let's just be honest you know love is art art is art right love is yeah love is art art is art and so um, it is just a very personal thing this is the piece that we did together in the this is the last project I did so we did together here on my Facebook page um, in the last two days it says bloom from within which I think is a beautiful positive message happiness is an inside job and so if painting makes you happy then do more of what makes you happy right so if um, you can't, you know, if you love shabby flowers like I do and you're practicing them and they're not quite there just yet, another great way is to practice with your background first and then find things like this. This was just a Dollar Tree um, deca decal. Decal? That just sounds weird. I don't know, maybe it's just because I just woke up on this Saturday morning. But this peel and stick sticker basically, you know, that I just put on here, transferred over onto here. Um, I think it's beautiful and I love the message. And so I am going to go ahead and find something to put this on and put it on my wall. I think it's beautiful. So yeah, start practicing and leading your, yourself up. Um, but it's fun as well. If you're creating art, you can decoupage papers and things like that of things that you love. This is the girl I'm working on right now. And I am she's talking to me as i'm painting her um there you go you can see her love the texture build up that um that's on her i love textured paintings i just i don't know I don't, it's like they pop off the you know they pop off the canvas they're coming to meet you i love it and perfectly perfect because is there really anything perfect in life or do you just you know it's perfect for you right so I love this painting. I'm gonna work on it a little bit more. And as I'm working on it, I'm going to try to figure out the message because I do see some words along here. So as you guys are um, watching this video today and I'm getting ready to put a positive message on the side, what do you think she'd be telling herself, this girl right here? You know, what do you think is a message that she has to share? So I consider things like, you know, is she looking down, um, you know, She's got a star, a moon, as you can tell. That's 
what I'm all about. So I think that your best, you know, your best art, you can, you can play around with a lot of different art. And when you first start, you're a lot of times you're copying other people because that's, you know, you're just kind of learning and dabbling. Um, I think when you really start to tap into yourself and when, me, when myself personally, uh, when I started to tap into myself, I realized, you know, I'm putting on canvas what I love, which is, you know, flowers, positivity, shabby art, messages, important messages that we need to tell ourselves. So I would love to hear in the comments what you think, um, what do you think the message is? But let's go ahead and work on the butterfly a little bit right here and definitely gotta work on the butterfly to bring him to life and maybe a couple other little things to really make her pop. That's the plan. thinking out loud and recording this video, I'm realizing that maybe the message here is to follow your heart. I'm so glad that I followed my heart. I know that we all have different dreams and what one person wants, another person may not want. And that's why it's so important to figure out what you want. So on Saturdays, as you're journaling and you're into your art, think about what you want in life. Because, you know, if you don't, you'll end up somewhere else live in somebody else's life and we all have a life that we want to live. If I didn't follow my dreams and follow my heart, which was being able to leave the corporate world, as I always joke and say, getting up and being able to work in my stretchy pants and just everything that it's brought me, the happiness in my life, the satisfaction in my life, the freedom in my life, you know, all these things that I wanted, um, I would have been stuck somewhere else doing something else that really wasn't in my heart. And sometimes you know, you do things um, that at the time you want to do. Yes, you can change them as well. There's nothing wrong with changing up things. But I am so glad that I was able to leave a desk job that I spent my day thinking about, I can't wait to get home to be able to paint. I can't wait to get home to be able to get off my dress clothes and be able to, yeah, just hang out in the garage and sit down and paint and just do what I love. And if I'd never chase those dreams, if I'd never taken the leap into the beyond, I would not have the life that I have today. So I think following your heart is very, very important. And maybe the message for this painting is follow your heart. What do you guys think? I'm liking where that is at right now. So you saw me light in this area right here. So this is indeed where some positive words, a phrase, um, a good reminder is gonna go. So that's why I lightened up this area a little bit right here on the side. Um, so when I add the words, they'll just pop more and not get lost in the, in the um, Woodland Fairy, the darker green that I had there. So I love her, she's shaping up to be so sweet. I'm going to let this sit right here and dry, come back for one more look and see if she's going to be all done. And I think she might be today, which I am excited um, because just something that speaks to me, how you find your own style is definitely doing what speaks to you. So if butterflies speak to you, you know, paint butterflies. If, um, I don't know, I'm looking over at a giraffe over there. If giraffe speaks to you, you know, paint giraffes because it's gonna be easier for you to do what you love, right? It's gonna be easier to do what you love. Like we talked in the, in the beginning, I feel so much better after a little paint session right here. I tell you that when you get up and you know you just have things that you're thinking about or that's on your mind, but it is it is awesome to be able to process what you're thinking, put your music on, and just 
go through the movements and you know let what's inside come out through your fingertips right that is how do you how do you achieve your best style and become your own person in terms of your art and what you're creating it definitely is take what's on the inside let it come out through your fingertips and um, appear on the canvas right and keep working through that until yeah until it makes you happy all right because remember happiness is an inside job as long as you're happy with it right what what, what did we say what was that sign what was it that the sign said bloom from within bloom bloom from within so i hope you guys get into a little bit of art today it definitely makes me feel better and um yeah i just feel a whole lot better now and journal do your art do whatever it takes but yeah it's amazing the benefits of um paint and taking the time to do it. I will see you guys again soon. Take care. I, if you love my videos, I would love it if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It encourages me to make more videos. That's how I know that you guys love what I'm doing. And if you love the videos, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Tell me something that resonated with you today. Resonate it? Resonate it. Resonate it with you guys, with you guys today uh, from the video. I would love to hear from you. All right. See ya real soon. Bye.